How many times have you heard someone say, man, I'm so bad at math, or my brain just isn't wired to do math? Chances are you've said it yourself. Many of us have often wished that there was a secret pill that would make us mathematical geniuses, even if it's just for the day of a final exam. While you can't become a math wizard overnight, you can get pretty good at math if you work hard for it. Being good with numbers isn't a special talent, it's something that we can all learn. Here are some of the tricks that can help you become good at math. When it comes to math, practice, and then more practice, and then more practice is the key. It is impossible to study math properly just by reading and listening. To study mathematics effectively, you have to roll up your sleeves and actually solve some problems. The more you practice answering math problems, the better you'll get. There is no escaping this reality. To do well on a math exam, you need to have solved a lot of mathematical problems beforehand. One study in Norway which tested the math skills of 70 children found being good at the subject simply involves a lot of practice. And many experts warn that discussions around a math gene miss the point that being good at math takes effort. But it's important to know that repetition alone will not make you good at math. When you're practicing with these problems, it's important to work through the process for each solution. If you have made any mistakes, you should review them and understand where your problem-solving skills are letting you down. Understanding how you approach the problem and where you went wrong is a great way of becoming stronger and avoiding the same mistakes in the future. If you don't remember anything else from this video, keep this with you. Memorizing the steps involved in a math problem is counterproductive. It is much better and rewarding in the long run to focus on understanding the process and the logic that is involved with the solution. This will help you understand how you should approach such problems in the future. Got stuck while working on a math problem? If so, that's okay. You just need to keep working on the problem. Don't just sit there and stare at it. Think hard until you're exhausted, then come back the next day and try again. This will be uncomfortable, but that discomfort is the feeling of your brain stretching to accommodate new abilities and ideas. Mathematics is a subject that requires more concentration than most others. A proper study environment and a distraction-free area could be the determining factors when solving complex problems in mathematics. One of the biggest obstacles in your way of becoming a mathematics pro is plain old fear. If you assume that you are bad at math, when you get a problem wrong, you will see that as confirmation of this assumption. Instead, think to yourself that with some hard work, you can and will improve your skills. Make math a part of your life. If you approach math as something exclusive from your life, you will have difficulty in understanding and accepting it. Instead, make math a more integral part of your routine. No pun intended. After all, it already is a part of your life. You just need to recognize it. Be aware of the math you're doing when you count the money you spend or when you calculate the points needed to win a game in sports. And remember, it's okay to get stuck. Professional mathematicians also spend most of their career getting stuck on problems. In fact, many of them spend years solving one problem, sometimes to no avail at all. That is, after all, why there are many problems which haven't been solved for hundreds of years. The difference is that mathematicians do not get discouraged and abandon the challenge. Instead, they look at different ways to approach and solve the problem. This challenge makes the Eureka moment feel all that more satisfying. If you ever feel too stuck, remember this Albert Einstein quote. Do not worry about your difficulties in mathematics. I can assure you, mine are still greater.